Tags are essentially how you write HTML. You've got your content, whether your website's about, I don't know, bats or unicorns or makeup or Polynesian rugs or whatever. It doesn't matter. The HTML tags is how you tell the browser how to display the sites. So what's a tag? These are sort of like tags. So on the right here, we've got two tags. And these would actually be tags from two different languages because the top one uses angle brackets and the bottom one uses curly braces. You're not going to mix and match in the same language. But depending on what language you're using, it might be an angle bracket, it might be a curly brace, it might be double curly braces, it might be something else, it might be a square bracket. Different languages use some different ways. But these would be two different tags. Now these are nonsense. You're not going to have a tag called tag. But you get the idea. Now there's also something called an element. So an element is sort of like a tag, but it's like when the two tags combine. So if we've got the first tag on top, and then we have the second tag on bottom with the slash there, that's closing the first tag. Those two together make one element. And this will make more sense as we go. So in the previous video, when we made our basic .html file of just the hello world and nothing else, I showed you a site called REPL.IT. And on here, before we deleted everything, you could see some tags. So these are tags. We've got an HTML tag. We actually have a doc type tag above that. We've got the head tag, a meta tag, another meta tag, a title tag, a link tag, closing the head tag, a body tag, a script tag, closing the body tag, and then closing the HTML tag. And you have the same thing here. You have this head tag, and you have this head tag here with the slash in front that closes it. And together, they are the head elements. Same thing with the title. This plus that equals the title element. Now some things don't have a closing tag. So like these two meta tags, there's no closing tag. That in itself is its own element because there doesn't happen to be a closing tag. Now this link element does have a closing on here. It's built inside of the tag itself. Some tags do that. HTML has been designed now for around three decades of time. And so it's changed a bit here and there, and it just it is what it is, but you'll get used to it. And browsers are overall pretty forgiving because of this change over time and because Tim Berners-Lee figured there'd be change over time. Browsers will load what they can, and if something doesn't make sense, they'll just sort of ignore it. They'll try to do the best they can. And we'll also talk a little bit about how to find your errors and how some tools can help you find them, so that way hopefully you have less of them. You can also have content in between tags like in the title here and as we go along it will make more sense but hopefully you're starting to get some ideas on what you see here so when I think about elements and tags I think about hamburgers right so <laughs> we've got a hamburger here right and it's got different parts it's got a bun and some lettuce and some cheese and some onions and I guess that's the meat patty there it's kind of a small one but you know it's a hamburger and you've got this hamburger bun element and closing these other elements like the lettuce and the cheese. So we could sort of compare this series of hamburger elements to our code here, right? So we've got like the HTML opening tag and the closing one and so maybe those are like the bun on top and bottom and then we've got like the heading tag here and maybe those are like your toppings so this could be like the cheese and the tomatoes and the onions and I don't know something else ketchup or mustard or whatever and then you've got your body tag and so maybe that's the meats the real meat of the burger right so you get the idea and now you can't well you shouldn't get things all mixed up you don't want to put the cheese on the outside of the bun right needs to go on the inside. So you have to contain things properly. You wouldn't put the bun above the meat. That's going to cause a weird burger and some problems. So there is a certain order and arrangement in how you do these. And we'll talk about that more as we go through the course. In addition, an element or a tag can also have attributes. So that's inside of that tag 
and it defines something about the tag. So if we go back to REPL it, we do have some attributes in here, like we have this link elements, or this link tag, and there's this href attribute, and an rel attribute, and a type attribute. These meta tags have a char set attribute, and the second one has a name attribute and a content attribute. So hopefully my hamburger simile helps you sort of understand it. And if you're not quite there yet, if it's still a little fuzzy, that's okay. As we start to use them, you'll get the hang of it. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you have a rough idea of what tags are, and in the next video we'll actually start using some tags to make our Hello World document significantly better than it is already.